WFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this 22nd day of January, Monday. And we're looking at the Dow for the Tiger Financial News Network 10 o'clock market update after, of course, Tommy Jr.'s show. Market kickoff. We've got the Dow up 215 at 38,077, up in the 38,000s. Wow. And you know what? This is the 13th week of the single leg A to the upside in the weekly chart um, from the low that was made at 32,327 low of October the 27th. We're looking at the S&P. Uh, S&P also making a new uh, all-time high here at 4868.41. Uh, this is actually a leg B in the uh, weekly chart. That's a very good sign. And leg D in the monthly chart, very strong move to the monthly chart. Q, Q, Q. We're looking at the NDX 100 up 2.38 at 423.56. Now, I think Microsoft's pulled back a little bit after hitting 400, uh, mostly because of some news about hacking. Uh, we'll look into that later in the week and see how it's affecting the stock. But in the meantime, the Qs are really strong. It's only a leg B in the monthly chart. That is incredible. IWM finally playing catch up, up 383, up 2%. At 196.29. Now it's starting to improve. It had a horrible uh, couple of weeks coming down when the, the other indices were making all time highs. <clears throat> Gold was down much sharper. It's now down five, but it's just stuck in this range, especially if you're looking at the dollar, which is not doing all that much. Pull back seven ticks at 103.22. Still hasn't hit that 200 period moving average of 103.73. For that leg D, missing leg D. Looking at the bonds, we've got the bonds now up almost a point, and that's good because yields will be coming down at 120 in 27, 30 seconds. Now let's look at crude oil. Crude oil is up 91 cents at 74.16. It's also like gold. It's just kind of stuck in this lower range. Hasn't been able to break out. There's a lot to discuss. I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians Hour in a few moments. Check out my opening call. We've got a real mix of triple-digit stocks and single-digit stocks in our portfolio. I'll be back in a moment. <laughs> 